Hello friends, welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub. Today we are going to learn UiPath Lookup Range Activity example and understand how it is different from VLOOKUP in Excel. Many might come to UiPath thinking Lookup Range Activity is the VLOOKUP activity. Okay, so we need to clarify and have a proper understanding of this activity UiPath Lookup Range Activity and get an example. So let's see that and what does this lookup range activity does? Let's have a look. For that, I have an Excel file where this is the data in the product sheet. So let me go back to UiPath and here to use lookup range activity, you have to use the Excel application scope. Okay, that, that is this is mandatory Excel application scope. So drag and drop the Excel application scope and here you mentioned where your file is available so let me mention that done after that i am going to use the lookup range activity okay now here i have to mention the sheet so my sheet name is so my sheet name is what product right so same thing i'm going to do i will write products So I'll simply say product and then range I want to reach. So how do you write the range? For that it starts from A1 you can see it here A1 and then it ends at C17. So same thing you have to write A1 C17. So here I'm going to say A1 and then C17 done. So it's going to read that entire range. Now what I'm going to do I want to find out lookup right. It's asking for the value to look up for. So here I will say, let's say the value is clock. So in the sheet, you have a value called clock, plate, stove, glass. So I'm looking for a value called clock. Okay, so when I say clock, what would happen? It has a output. So what you do, simply say control K and mention the variable output. So until now I have not explained how is this functioning, but I want to explain that with an example. So simply I'm writing the output the value that should be such the sheet name and the range okay now when i do this and let me use a message box and here in the message box i am going to say the variable called output okay now what are you expecting so it don't expect this to work as a vlookup okay this is not a vlookup it is only going to give you the value of the cell where clock exists so let me run it and show you so before i run let me save my excel file in case i've done any changes okay then run it okay so what is happening it is saying the value b uh, clock is there in the b5 cell so you can mention anything in your excel file any data you want to find let's say where is 600 where is 102 so it will just give the cell value the cell value is b the column is b and 5 right so b5 that is what it does so it gives the cell value so what is the use of this activity so let me show you how you can use this so let's say i'm using a right cell activity and wherever the value is called clock is there i want that to be replaced as table clock so all i have to do again copy the sheet name now where that value is there i know right it is there in the output so b5 so it will automatically identify that so that makes it makes it easy right to replace so it acts like find and replace remember so lookup range acts like find and replace that you have in excel right find and replace the same activity is done through this lookup range okay it looks for the uh, value and gives you which cell contains that value that's all the meaning now here what i'm going to do i want to replace that to table clock okay the clock should be replaced as table clock so let me run it let's have a check so you can see the clock has got replaced with table clock so that is the use of lookup range activity okay so this is not vlookup for vlookup what is the activity how do you there is activity right so for that you have to use the activity called lookup range sorry lookup data table 
okay this is the activity that you have to use so that activity if you say lookup range okay uh, look up simply say look up then you have the uh, thing called look up data table so this is the VLOOKUP lookup activity not this one okay so uh, guys myself rakesh please do like do not forget to like uh, the video please do comment and uh, please do subscribe so we'll come up with more uh, interesting topics so this is just an activity uh, which one supposed to know how it works then we can come up with more complex projects where you'll be utilizing such activities right so you understood what is lookup range so lookup range is nothing but a is not a vlookup it is nothing but a find and replace kind of activity understood thank you thank you for watching you have a wonderful day